than those killed in the terrorist attacks. Now think about all the extra steps you go through because of 9-11. Airport security checkpoints, background checks, and fingerprinting, additional taxes and fees, and a cautious fear that has permeated many American lives. Now, what would you do if I told you that one simple action on your behalf, you can help to eliminate these needless deaths? Today I'm here to plead with you to consider the importance of hand hygiene in the healthcare setting. Research suggests that proper hand hygiene is central to disease prevention because it reduces the spread of infection and improves community health. I invite you to learn with me as we discuss the cost of hand hygiene, the challenge of hand hygiene, and the course of change for hand hygiene in the healthcare setting. The cost of hand hygiene a study that was conducted by Patricia Stone and others in 2007 found that hospitals spent an average of 72 cents per patient day and on hand hygiene products. And there is no correlation between the amount spent and the compliance rates. They also found that, found that hand hygiene sanitizer products are nearly double the cost of soap. But when factoring in the cost of water and paper, towels, and hand sanitizer, hand sanitizer becomes the more cost-effective option. Remember that number, 72 cents per patient day, sounds like an affordable option to me. What isn't affordable is the cost of healthcare acquired infections. The Safe Care Campaign in 2000.